So this is a video update on my uh, homebrew computer here. <clears throat> so this is the computer so far. And I have uh, recently added my uh, video card. To it. This, this board here is a uh, composite video generator that I built actually before I started building the computer. <clears throat> and uh, so I have attached the, the board to the computer. And uh, now we have video actually. The computer is uh, doing is working right now here as you can see. The lights are blinking. And the point of this video is actually this screen right here. So as you can see here we have a monitor. <clears throat> it's an old monitor that I got from my computer I bought on eBay. And um, as you can see the monitor is uh, full of uh, actually RAM junk. So when you reset the computer, the RAM has uh, junk, it doesn't have any useful information, so that's what the RAM has. And if you can see here, the pattern is quite uh, interesting actually. And this is the pattern you get on, uh, in an old uh, NEC RAM uh, that I have here. Uh, the fact that the monitor is blinking, I will explain that. And so, so right now the computer is working, and what I have done is, I am in the process of uh, programming a simple BIOS, for it with uh, simple routines like uh, clearing the screen, writing uh, characters to the screen, uh, updating the cursor, uh, drawing lines, circles and, and things, uh, playing some sounds and controlling uh, inputs output ports and things like this so that when you program the computer you don't have to write uh, everything from scratch. And so right now what I'm doing is programming a uh, a few uh, video routines and the the what the computer is doing at the moment is simply uh, clearing the screen so if we look right here as you can see this part on the screen here is being is cleared so there's nothing there and if you pay attention ever so slightly the computer is clearly if, if you look here it's clearing the first line here as you can see the junk is disappearing from the first line it's gonna come here and delete some more it's doing this really really slowly because I have the computer on a very slow clock at the moment. It can do this in an instant, it will clear the screen in an instant, but I, I've put it to do it slowly so we can see it happening. And the fact that the monitor is blinking like this is because every time I write, we write to the video card, I uh, try state the uh, buffer the RAM buffer so the video card has nothing to output into the screen so it just has uh, blank so it the video card is, is really really quick because the computer is running really really slow so the video card is outputting the blank uh, very very quickly so the whole screen is blank and then it comes back and shows what's in there every time you write a blank byte here it uh, tries to the bus and that's why it goes blank and then it comes back and then it does, does the same thing again and so um, so this is the first routine that I've programmed actually this is not the whole uh, program after it clears the screen it will start moving a dot on the screen so it will start from here on the left side it will move the dots to the right when it gets here it goes down to the next line and it will start okay, it will keep moving the dot like that when it gets back to the bottom here, it will go up again. So the, mod, the dots doesn't move freely on the screen, it just moves on the line, line by line. That's just an example in a test program that I'm writing right now. So after it does this, it will start doing that. But this is gonna take a while, so I'll, I'll, do, I'll demonstrate that in the next video. And so, right now I have uh, 16 input output ports on the computer. A few of, of which, uh, I think four of which I'm using for the video card. Um, there are also some other ones. One of them I'm using, I'm using for the bank, memory bank register, because memory on this computer is banked into uh, 128 banks of 127 bytes. The computer started out with uh, only 256 six bytes of RAM because I wanted to build it really quickly and that simplified the process. But then I realized it was really really limited and I wanted to do more with the computer. I didn't want to build the new computer, more complex, I wanted to try to squeeze the most out of this one. So, um, so uh, yes. Um, then I expanded the, the RAM system of the, of the computer to um, 
to, to uh, allow me to do more things. So this is it for now and I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll come back with the next video with the, the animation on the screen. Thank you very much for watching.